Hello everybody and welcome to, well, it's probably my first video in a very long time. This is Zips from Total Gaming Network and CS Nation. And today we're going to take a very quick look at the crew. Mainly, uh, you know, what, what you can expect in the PC beta that is currently going on. This is the default settings that this game set me to. Uh, it actually put me to 1080p resolution, but for the purposes of this recording, I'm going to be playing at 720 just so my computer can cope with it all. So with that said... We're going to jump right back into where I left off. I'm going to see if my car is still completely destroyed as it was when I left it because I am not sure how to repair it. So perhaps it repairs over time. And when I say destroyed, I know other people playing the beta. There is a colored bar and then a... Alex, oh, no, nope, it looks... Yes, yes, Zoe, I will be there. Uh, you can see on the left side of the screen my my little uh, name, DigiZips for you play. Uh, below that, yep. Uh, is a health bar for my car. The color will disappear, and when that dis starts to ah, excuse me, when that disappears, uh, your car will take some time to recover. But if you keep destroying it, it will get to a point where it cannot be repaired anymore. And uh, so, here's the thing I've been noticing about this game. You see these people rolling around here. There's Jacob in front of me. There's Mason off to the left. Those are not real people. Uh, you can basically tell that they're not real people. I mean, granted, some of them do drive like real people. But, they're not real people because nobody on Uplay is using their real names. Yet, every single person I have come across here has been, like, a Jason, or a Miranda, or just an actual first name. Now, unless somehow these people are seeing my first name of Sean here, I, which I highly doubt, nobody I've come across in probably the hour and a half, almost two hours of gameplay before this, is a real person. Kind of annoying, but, you know, what are you going to do? So you start off the game, you're in Detroit, there's a lot of story stuff, and if that was a real person, he wouldn't be driving and obeying the rules right now, he would have smacked right into me. Um... Let me just, just give him a little tap there. Yeah, he doesn't give a crap because it's a bot. Uh, you start off in Detroit. There's some story stuff that it throws you into immediately. There are cutscenes. You have to do just a couple objectives. And then eventually you get to the point where some stuff happens. I really don't want to ruin the story for you, I guess. But jump forward five years in time and you are now able to get your own car. You can customize it. And that's actually what we're going to do right now. And we're going to do that before we head off into this big, wide, open world here that is the continental United States. So, as you can see, I've already unlocked some stuff on the East Coast. I've unlocked stuff up near Detroit here where you start off. Uh, but for our purposes right now, going back into the game, we're going to customize it. I'm going to show you how to customize this uh, stuff. And it's actually a lot more in-depth than what I was expecting it to be. So every time you get to a new location or you get to a new event or you get to a new story thing, you get a, you get a uh, video that plays. It's actually kind of annoying because the first time you see these videos, you cannot skip them. Kind of sucks. What are you going to do? So you have your choices here initially of visual and performance customization. Uh, performance, you really can't do too much, or at least I can't do too much because this is the first car I bought. I'm assuming later on or at least cars that are not in the beta, will have all these things you can customize, you know, fuel injection, air system, blah, 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 car lover's dream right here. Uh, you, there's None of these are actually have anything in them right now. Like I said, maybe for later cars, more powerful cars, cars in the final release, all of them might have all this stuff, but for right now, I don't have it. Uh, visual, though... There's a lot of stuff here, and I'm actually impressed. I wasn't expecting this kind of level, this level of customization. So you can change colors. You got official. You got metallic colors going on here. Uh, anodized, iridescent, which I am. I'm a fan of the iridescent. I actually went with a blue. Uh, that I don't think that's mine. Oh, that's definitely not mine. But some, I think that one's mine. Something like that. Whatever. You get the idea. Colors, stickers. You can put some flags on there. And you gotta put the flames on because they make your car go faster, right guys? So there's that, whatever, gothic, you can match your tattoo with them or something. The interior! I was actually surprised that you can customize the interior. 
Uh, a lot of these are carbon, so you're not going to be noticing too much of a difference, but you can see the trim on the cars there. I'm pointing at my screen like an idiot, uh, but you can actually see the trim uh, changing on those. Now I get into the different colors, you can actually see those looking a bit different. Uh, I didn't really mess around with these too much. Uh, I just found one that has like a nice blue uh, scheme to excuse me, scheme to it that matched the uh, exterior of my car, and I went with that. So, you get that, you can change your front bumpers. Uh, it's actually fairly speedy uh, how, how quickly they swap the new parts in. Uh, I am impressed by the loading times. This is not installed to my solid state drive, though I did have the option to. This is just on a normal, you know, regular hard drive here. And uh, for the load, the load times, uh, for the most part, have been just, you know, phenomenal. Uh, fast travel to and from locations has been, in my experience, almost instantaneous, which I will show you that in just a moment. Uh, I, I mean, I think you get the idea here with the customization stuff. And again, there are different parts for almost everything on the car. And the only thing I think I can't do is the rear wing on this particular car. That, that's it. They only have the one option. Um, but again, I've only have this one car. So other cars might have more options available, less options. I don't have a clue. So you get that, you have this as your car collection here. I have, it's basically the same car from my understanding, only one loadout is for street racing and the other one is for full stock. Full stock is just kind of, as the part of the name implies, just stock. It's not specialized for street, dirt, uh, performance, anything else. It's just kind of bare bones and then it, use that as a template to customize it for, you know, whatever you feel like it. I don't fully understand all of this stuff over here. I don't understand what these trees are for really. But again, I haven't had too much time to toy around with this. I'm going to leave the car tuner right now. I am... <laughs> I'm... <laughs> oh, that was... That was... That was not intended. <laughs> I have not <laughs> seen that bug until right now. Anyway, back to the game. I should mention again that this is a beta release and uh, they still have plenty of time to fine tune this. Who's this, who's this coming up? Noah. Look at that. See, he avoids hitting me. He's not real. Uh, different camera views because I know people are probably curious. You know, you got your in-car view. It looks pretty good. Uh, you know, you can look behind you. You can look to the left, right. If you tilt the stick just slightly, you can kind of look up and around. But the moment it crosses a certain threshold, it just kind of, like, I'm looking down right now, and all of a sudden, oh, it doesn't actually, you just got to move it slowly to look down. But, I mean, there's really no point in that. Um, interiors look decent-ish, I suppose. I mean, there's really nothing too much going on. The visuals in general just seem kind of, I don't know. They seem like a bit of a letdown for a game that's supposed to be, you know, on current gen Xbox One, PS4. I don't think this is on 360 PS3. I might be mistaken, though. I haven't really been keeping up too much with this game. But, you know, at least on the PC, it just, it's, there's nothing really spectacular going on here. But, you know, I got your in-car view, you got your close behind, far behind, hood, uh, you know, nothing, I guess you could call this one. Uh, I'm a fan of either this one, or I'm just kind of driving around, or if I'm doing races, or if I need to see more of my surroundings, I go to this one. And, uh, you know, that's basically it. Joshua, again. Not feeling like that's a real person, but, you know. Uh, there's some car damage modeling. You really can't see it. All right, yeah, alright, you can see that pretty well. Uh, it doesn't really impact your car performance too much unless you, again, fully deplete your car's health bar uh, until there's nothing left. Uh, instead of meeting Zoe's I said I was going to do earlier, let's just, for the sake of this very quick preview video, uh, we'll go down to... Actually, let's, I'm going to show you Niagara Falls. How about that? Let's zoom out a bit. There it is up here. And since I, that is, oh, here we go. I have to select it from the landmarks. And they do have various landmarks here. They do have various things that if you discover them in the area, you can just, you know, fast travel to it. One thing I will say about this that I really, I'm annoyed with, and I'm not going to lie. Uh, hey guys, we're at Niagara Falls. Looks pretty different, doesn't it? I'm actually going to drive down to where I can show you them. 
one thing I don't like about this is it's got that Ubisoft open world thing again, where you got this big wide open world. Wow, Niagara Falls guys look how impressive. Or not impressive, I suppose, depending on your viewpoint. But you got this big wide open world, right? Big wide North America deal. And one thing that this does, that Watch Dogs does, that Far Cry does, that Assassin's Creed does, is this thing right here. You see that little the blinky? It looks like a satellite dish and it's blinking in this area. Yet again, in order to discover the stuff that's around here, or at least reveal it on your map, you have to go and find these satellite dishes. You don't have to do anything. You just gotta find them. And once you find them and you get close enough, it unveils the stuff that you can do in the area without you having to manually find them all. I don't understand the point of having that in every single one of their games. Assassin's Creed has the bird perch. Watch Dogs has the, I believe, the radio towers. It's been a while since I played Watch Dogs, mainly because I've been waiting for them to fix the uh, performance issues on the PC. Uh, Far Cry had the uh, radio towers. Uh, and I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't understand it. I understand the point of it. It's boring. It's needless. It wastes time. You know... But hey, at least my car is getting dirty from all the mud. Let's just drive into the water and see what happens. That's all that happens, guys. You can't drive in deep water. I'm sorry. But, uh, you know what? Let's go to New York, actually. Yeah? Uptown? Actually, no. Wait, let's, uh... There's Manhattan. Let's just go to Manhattan. I, I, I'm actually kind of uh, disappointed a bit. Again, fast loading times there. I am disappointed a slight bit in just how small the scale seems. Uh, yeah, it's North America, it's the United States, but when I drove from Detroit to Niagara Falls, my little uh, distance indicator for my waypoint only sells 20 miles. So we're in New York right now, we're almost, uh, you know, on the East Coast for all intents and purposes. Let's just say that we are on the East Coast. We're at the Atlantic Ocean, and say you wanted to drive all the way to the west coast here. Uh, what? Let's go up near Seattle. We'll just go the heart of Seattle, right there. Set waypoint. All right. Oh, <laughs> a little pause there. Nothing to be concerned about. Beta. Beta status here. So here we are. 77 miles. From New York to Seattle. Granted, that will probably take you about an hour to get there from New York. But you still can't help but be a little bit disappointed in that, you know. Uh, let's just say that, you know, coast to coast is 80 miles, 85, if you're being generous. So, a little bit disappointing there, but... At least, you know, there's plenty of areas. There are some familiar locations here. Yes, I'm going the wrong way. Hey, there's Anthony, another AI fake player. I feel like I'm in, in one of those uh, E3 trailers or presentations for an Ubisoft game. Because you know how they had, like, the you know the fake, fake voice comm? That's kind of what it feels like with these uh, not real AI kind of roaming around pretending to be real people. I don't know where everybody is. I don't know what's going on. I just don't know if there's not that many people in the beta yet. Uh, but, you know, I, I didn't want to get too in-depth into this first video. I would like to make a second video where I actually show you some of the story stuff. But I had a few moments right now. I wanted to show you just a very brief overview. And again, Alexander there uh, very slyly avoids me, then runs into a building, and that's it. Yeah. So, with that said, Zips... Signing off from beautiful New York. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Probably probably in a day or two. You know. Uh, maybe make a video or two of this. Yeah, nothing. That guy doesn't care. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll even make some sort of uh, time-lapse video going from coast to coast or something. Who knows. With that said, this has been Zips. For Total Gaming Network and CS Nation, that guy cut me off. 
that's not cool. Whatever. And uh, we'll catch you next time.